two, three, clap. One, two, three. Welcome to the Friendly Geordies podcast. Thank you, everyone, for your impeccable patience in this day and age. You've been waiting for us for like, how long has it been? Two months, three months? Four. Jesus. Four months. And the numbers are showing. <laughs> <laughs> We're, We're going to build baby. it back up. We're going to yeah, build it back yeah. up. Look, before we get in, uh, let, let's start with the first segment. John, what the hell is happening with Elon V. Albo? Uh, I was hoping you'd fill me in on that. Okay, I'll tell you what's happening. Because <laughs> I, I, I do know what's happening. I'm just oh, right. pretending to be Smith, yes. uh, ignorant. <laughs> so what's happened is that Elon, so you know the, the stabbing attack. Of Bishop Emmanuel. Yeah, dude. We wanna, what's going on with that? So there's a there's a clip of it on Twitter on X, and the clip shows him stabbing. The Australian oh, government. Oh, that's a great taste. Yeah, the Australian government wants it off because it creates, according to them, further radicalization. And Elon has said, nah. no. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Do I want to see the video. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen the video. How was it? To see who's it's right. It's pretty confronting. Really? I mean, look. What happened with You him? can imagine exactly what the video yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Elon said no. But well, it, it isn't go. like Django or anything. There's no, like, blood splashing. Yeah. It's just, like, some Django. little kid going insane. Going hard. Um, But, yeah, so uh, Elon <laughs> doesn't want to take it, uh, take it down because he thinks it's... First of all, he feels that it's not further radicalizing anyone, and he also thinks it's a freedom of expression thing. And the Australian government is pissed off. So then, as a concession, he removed it in Australia, but anywhere else in the world you can still see it. And now there's like a court case that's about to happen where uh, ex's lawyers are going to argue that it's an infringement of freedom of speech. And uh, Australian government is saying that it isn't. Just take out, take down the video. Stabby stab. No, and no, no. Okay, okay. Before I always the point was when it came to free speech until violence is involved. So are we yeah. pass that now. Are we that extreme on free speech. Yeah, mm. Look, so Hell yeah. I, I don't. Yes, see, one of the arguments. Okay. <laughs> just checking. I don't know. What one of the arguments that uh, X has made is that, like, even if we take it down. It's not going to stop circulating. There's like, and also like every time you tell, on that. and they say, and they said that every time you tell us to take it down, there's more people that are publishing it because mm. they think it's going to be taken down. So there's the whole Streisand effect. Mm. Well, now I'm completely on X's side. <laughs> think they're right. Yeah, and and, and also I think they're especially right to publish it in the first place. The Labor yeah. government has used some of the legislation introduced by Scott Morrison for that online privacy thing for this stuff. Mm. I don't know. Mm. What do you? What's your take? I don't think that it's good to have murder circulating <laughs> on the internet. It's a snuff film, guys. Since when did snuff film come to? Hey, that's artistic expression. What about rotten? Okay? What about was it, what was it? Rotten? No, is it rotten dot com? Yeah, what about I that? I think so. It's been around for a while. Yeah, it's kind of better that it's. Gone. On the peripheries yeah. of the deep That web, freaked me out, actually. In year six, being like, do you want to see an actual dead person? I was like, no, I don't. I that was so normal. Should have been called that, shouldn't it? Hey, kid, want to see a dead body? Well, rotten.com is kind of worse. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, now that I think about it, rotten's horrible. Fucked. Every time you even hear the word Johnny Rotten, you always so His name leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. How but come none right, of you guys are like thing. free speech absolutists? Huh? You know, free speech app, like, if yeah, you should be able know. to say whatever you want. But is that saying anything? You're just showing a man getting stabbed. Well, look, i tell you one thing. The right, the, the, the far right thinks that it's a lefty program to, like, you know, cleanse the Muslim image, which is why they want to take it down. <laughs> they say, keep it on, because that's what right. Islam is, I suppose. You're too right. Mm. Yeah. It's absolutely not going to circulate and amongst Muslims and make them more radical. I'm going to be not going to happen. I'm going to be honest about one thing. I do support Peter Dutton on this because Peter <laughs> Dutton said something, which before you shoot it down, I think it's pretty reasonable. He's saying like, "Look, I'm no, I think that the video should t be taken down because of obvious reasons, but at the same time, he's taking it down in Australia. Like, 
who do you think we are? Right, <laughs> true. We're just going to like bully this like massive corporation in the world into believing what we think is right. And I think <laughs> that's a pretty it's a pretty decent argument. Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah. Fair dibs. Look, we know our place. Yeah, yeah that's what he said. Amazing, a future prime minister openly admitting, "Dude, Elon's got more money than me." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you saying he's going to be prime minister? Huh? You reckon he'll be prime minister? Yeah, probably. Are you serious? Not looking good. You're kidding me. There's the real fucking scoop. Are you serious? There's no way. You're more outraged about. Yeah, it's way more yeah, outrageous. It is way more outrageous. That's insane. Yeah. Why do you think that? That can't be true, man. Well, it's not looking good in the polls, gentlemen. Are you serial? I'm for real. What the hell? Look at the polls. People about want fifty-one forty-nine. I think it's even less. I think it's forty-nine point five, fifty point five. Is is that just what happens? Not even within striking districts. They're nose here ahead. Has there ever been a prime minister that's been in for like? four terms and they've just gotten more popular or at least stayed the same or is it as soon as you're in people start hating you no it's because of the modern media landscape uh, and also being the eye of the media uh, doesn't help so right what do you mean Albert well you know Robert Menzies left and I think he still loved this <laughs> very day because of the glowing fawning coverage he gets on the ABC Menzies as you can see he was probably a homosexual and that's why the ABC liked him <laughs> Wait, was Menzies the one in like World War Two in the opposition? He he made himself into opposition because he sold scrap iron to the Japanese <laughs> that they then fashioned into bullets and shot at us. That's and insane. the Australian people decided to elect him for another twenty three years after that. Are you that. serious? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the economy is important. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. v- apparently very important. The most important. Getting shot by the economy. Isn't it incredible? Far it's amazing out. how the media can make you you know, we're getting invaded by refugees. Oh, no, we've got to do something about it. Literally getting invaded by the Japanese. <laughs> oh, we really lost the greatest prime minister we ever had here, guys. Jesus come on, come on, Christ. rating back. He'll Sorry, but that, that's crazy to me. Like, I feel like... And didn't Albo just uh, give some, like, sweet tax cuts as well? Yeah. No, not tax cuts. Hasn't he increased taxes? I Has he? he? I thought it was tax cuts. Oh, there was some... Match, yeah, I thought it was cuts. Yeah, he there was some tax. He gave... He, 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 He's doing the, the double thing. And he takes like, <laughs> like an abusive partner, he oh, has the carriage and sticks pulls. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I'm getting my it's source. It's just coercive abuse. Yeah, that's so fun. That's so unfair that like already there's the he's down in the polls. That is crazy, dude. Yeah. It's just like the, the problem with the Australian public is like they don't what, like during anyone. peacetime when things are going great and like the fucking economy is booming, they're like, yeah, the liberals, better economic magic. As soon as shit hits the fan, they're like, oh, yeah. shit, Labor, dude, you take dude, care. Dumpy. And then as soon as they come, it's like, oh, it's not getting any better. You, yeah. Fuck you, we're going to bring back the Which is even worse because if you look at the stats, it absolutely is. And like yeah, Labor is. gets in every time. You start seeing a skyrocketing to the top of the OECD in terms of economic management, but no one reports that except Alan Austin. Yeah, and also... What is essentially a blog. Dude, here's another thing, Jordan, that you should start picking up, like actually in your videos... Australia compared to like a lot of the first world is doing pretty it's look I understand that we're not doing great I'm aware of it because I'm part of it but like dude I look at Europe and I go like thank fucking god I'm in Australia Mm. I think like that needs to be Poland's killing it yeah I think like Alba also needs to like just be real with the public like guys look around the world you're still all right yeah like, things are tough, yeah. but not nearly as tough as they are overseas. Can you imagine? If he said that? Uh, yeah. Can you imagine? I, I, Time I, death response from yeah, Albanese. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah. I would hear that and be like, yeah, fear deeps. Like, but yeah, the, the media would go nuts. Yeah, because you're not a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Fail to forget is... Yeah. I honestly think about 70% of Australia are cunts. You can, yeah. They're, yeah. Not, they're, they're not racist. They're not sexist. It they're just cunts, cunts in, in varying ideological yeah. degrees. Yeah. They're not racist, they're not sexist, but they are homophobes. Yeah, That's not for you. Of course. <laughs> LGBT. Yeah, except all the AFL fans. <laughs> they could not be. Right. Albert was at the AFL game. I went to one on Sunday. He was there. I was like, yeah. yeah Albert Albo needs to stop being misloved. <laughs> Can he stop going to like every entertainment show there is? He is. He has the same life. Yeah. <laughs> oh. hey guys, have you heard this new band, The Easy Street? Yeah. No. And neither should you. Yeah, well, they're good. Just go to a footy game. 
Yeah. Um, and it wasn't even a big one. It was the Swans versus the Gold Coast Suns. <laughs> yeah, it's a show of support. Yeah. Dude, frankly speaking, I think Alba was having too much fun in office. <laughs> he came in, he was like slim and trim, best shape of his life. <laughs> He's and look at him again. now, he's <laughs> fat again, and he's just going to concerts, eating fucking corn dogs and hanging out with Taylor Swift. Yeah. Uh, there he is going, oh, I can't do that guy's accent, it's so hard. There he is, he's going to concerts, he's going to football games. Abanese, he's not got the f- finger on the pulse of the Australian people. <laughs> Yeah. You know what though? Was that good? Was he that absolutely terrible? Absolutely does. Even in a cost of living crisis, yeah, he does. Still go to fucking Taylor Swift yeah, today. I feel exactly. like, oh, it's hard out here. How much for that t-shirt? Sixty bucks. It should be seventy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. He has 60 got my bucks, life. Yeah, Fine stitching on Swift. Give, Give me it. two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he literally does have my life. I, so I get what you're saying. I'm just as good and successful as Albo. Apparently so. <laughs> 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 no, except, you guessed. Except, he really is the perfect example of you can do it too. Yeah, he's he's you, but with a partner. Mm. <laughs> maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Yeah. And a son that I assume is a little shit. I assume too. Oh, really? I assume yeah, what so. are his kids like? I don't know. I don't know. I've got no idea. I just always assume. By the way, speaking of has a kids, child, they're going to be spoiled as fuck. Kevin Rudd, your son is a champ. Yeah, his son is a Yo, champ. Dude, I respect I respect like these really like these parents that are like are in high positions but somehow raise a decent individual. Like these kids are never never. They've got everything. I know. But he's still like a sane kid. I know. Put on you, Kevin Rudd. I feel like your wife had a lot to do with it because you would have been busy. Probably. She, she was busy as well. Maybe sat around running dodgy businesses. Yeah. That's right, pushing the back. The woman that runs a disability recruitment place and I remember that with was problems a have have a job and food to eat. Not all the time. No, she wasn't doing that when he was in po- in power. I think she was. I think that's like a Well, shit. I saw a fucking thing on it, all right? I don't think Oh, uh, what did Murdoch say about this? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it was Murdoch. It's a disability care recruitment center, <laughs> but did you know that it also sometimes deals with pensioners? Who says it was I Murdoch? Oh, Mr. Okay. Know it all. All right. Miss Love is a wide reader of the news. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the press they could call it. not owned by the Murdoch person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I don't think so. I think it's. I think it was sold. It might still be owned by that, but I think it was sold out to Disney. Did Sky News viewership is the funniest in the world. Tell the story. I don't even know how much I could talk about this, but this is so funny. I mean, so just like when the first uh, when the Bondi stabbings happened, yeah, Sky News was the only media outlet mm. that was doing like that had their comment section open so people could comment. And all the comments, as soon as it happened, was, here we go, religion of peace, yeah. spread more peace. You had to wait like two days. They couldn't wait two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is what happens when you get uh, migration, left, right, and center, and you expect a different result. And then <laughs> like the news <laughs> comes out that he was like, just white, white yeah. dude from Brisbane. And so people were like, where are Wumba, actually. Yeah, yeah, from Toowoomba. And so someone goes like, uh, where, where's all the commentators that were talking about migration now? And the same guy just comments, oh, I meant interstate migration. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What a funny bastard. <laughs> what is that guy's... What and is, also, of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> we all, we all did. believe that man. Yeah, think, that is such an obvious lie. That do you think even he thought he could get away with? It? No, he, no, definitely not. No. So why did he try? What is the psychology? He, he's a proud man because he he's doesn't a proud want to give man. an inch on the internet. He's pr- all or nothing. He's a proud man. He will not apologize for his uh for his fringe views. <laughs> Dude, Can't let read, the soy boys win. Yeah, all if right. you read Sky News for, for stalemate comments, yeah, I don't know if it's that fringe. Yeah, what do you mean? I think the the views are pretty standardized. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean standardized? Like, I think it's kind of becoming a little mainstream. You reckon? Dude, people. What views? Which ones? Who well, the ones? The obvious ones. Migration Hating is migrants. bullshit, and um, uh, religion of peace spreading more peace. 
Man, you know what is sick? That is a good call. I'm very happy about this. <laughs> Look well, at the it's stream. funny. It's a funny call. It's pretty good. <laughs> well, less finesse with that. that there, but yeah, like <laughs> the, the points there, I suppose. You like it more poetic. Yeah. Right, okay. I like it straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like my use. Are you mates with the <laughs> I state like guy? My use how it is, thank you. You're, you're mates with the state guy. <laughs> Close the boardish. <laughs> It was probably Gary Orson. Oh, now where is he? Where Goes is... on Rumble because there's shadow banning him on YouTube. I can't so believe you annexed... Why is he a... getting banned? Because he's like, he keeps making Foo Fighter songs and they're like... Uh, wait, and they're Maybe gone. That's probably <laughs> the reason. But he thinks it's because of his hardline views on COVID. Fair oh dibs. Fair dibs. What's Boos Rumble? get over COVID. Yeah, dude, it's been a while. Relax. <laughs> Why do they care about it still? Why do they care about it when it was happening? Yeah, why is RFK Jr. still a candidate? That's so weird to me. I, I really... Careful, boys. I had my questions. You can barely understand <laughs> the man when he speaks. Why? Yeah. What were your questions? You know, just... Is the, it real? Just the, all of the questions. Are vaccines made by Bill Gates or not? Let's start with that. MRNA... Not a lot of research. Hey, you're going to get us a fucking oh, shit, strike shit, shit. again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he did that M last time. M stands for M and M's. This is the new M and no, M's around. That. And he said NRMA, the insurance for cars. A sponsor of the Friendly Geordies podcast. Thank you <laughs> very much not. for sponsoring. Really <laughs> wish yeah, they were, yeah, and yeah. they could absolutely. Yeah, afford. let's not do that. I already gave us one. <laughs> At this point, I'd accept free insurance as a sponsorship. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah, let's not talk about... Uh, he's probably Isn't still it can't. say, though, that Miss Love pretty much has the views of everyone in Queensland? Mm. And yet that's fringe? Yeah, I suppose Queensland is pretty fringe. <laughs> Queensland is a fringe place. Queensland is pretty fringe, yeah. Okay, okay, boys. Uh. Check this Lockyer out. Highway. I got to show you enough a, things called Lockyer. Darren Lockyer. I got to show you a, a couple of videos. So this is um, damn man, hell yeah! I always forget the name. Remind me the name of the guy who killed a woman on set. Uh, ben Jane. Affleck. No, no, not Ben Affleck. What's his name? Yeah, one of the Affleck. Alec Baldwin. Jesus yeah, Christ. right, right. The Affleck, bro. So this, so this is so this is a random <laughs> lady enough. that was harassing Alec Baldwin. Watch this. Is this in the protest? Uh, no, this isn't. This was just at some coffee shop. Oh god, he wow. hasn't even suffered god, enough. It must be great being a bald one. Hey? He's suffered enough. Still, I'd prefer to be him than his much less successful brother. Imagine Christmas. Eh? There's like <laughs> ten of those brothers. <laughs> He's yeah. All right, okay. Oh, this the fucking bridge. There's the real tragedy. Poor Alec or Billy. <laughs> Alec, can you please stay free Palestine one time? Oh my god. Why did you kill that lady? Oh! Did you kill that lady got no jail time? Oh my god. No jail time, Alec? I'm sorry. No jail time, Alec. You're putting innocent people in jail, Alec Baldwin. I'm so sorry. Free Palestine, Alec, just one time, and I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone, I swear. Holy just say free Palestine yeah. one time. One time. One time. One time, Alec. You know you know he's a criminal. You know he's a fucking criminal. Come on, Alec. Just say free Palestine one time. One time. Just one time. Please. And I'll leave you alone. Free Palestine. Fuck Israel. Fuck Zionism. Please say it. One time. Alec, you Palestine one time. <laughs> the man has thin patience. I think that's why he killed that woman. Thin patience? I don't know. I think he's got... Mm, that's not bad, yeah, he dude. he longer than I would have. <laughs> now, wait, hold up. Now, like every good... This lady was invited on Pierce Morgan, of uh, course. And you guys Pierce. need to check out this dude, lady. Dude, Pierce, is he fucking, he just gets every cunt on there, doesn't he? On his show. Oh, every single it? one. Dude, Man, I, I, she had that exact female voice that pierces right into your brain. It's that particular pierce. Pierce. Morgan. Morgan. Um, Wait one second. Let me bring me it up. One time. That one? Yeah. It's a particular... Just time. Google it. I want to see... Yeah. Dude, Um, that was infuriating. And look, I think it sounds what? a lot more violent because what of the... the Holy shit. Are you serious? Wait, hold up, hold up. Make it 
<laughs> Make it big, please. Yeah, yeah, I will. Wait. What does she look like? Does she think she's one of the avatars? What the what hell? What is going on? Pierce fucking Morgan. What the? You're asking too just many Just for the record, questions. my name is actually just What's Pierce Morgan. What's wrong with saying free Palestine? Pierce, can you say free, free, free Palestine for me? I think. Pierce, can you say free Palestine for if me? If you stop shouting, yeah. I, I want you to say it. Yes, I'm happy okay. to say. Okay, I'm yes. not going to shout. <laughs> If you just, Mr. Pierce what? Morgan, if you just keep quiet, I can answer your question. Her tits out. Yes, I'm very happy to <laughs> say that. I'm never quiet, Jesus. Pierce. Sorry, you're still talking. I'm never quiet. Okay, but try. I'm never Otherwise, quiet, I can't. Pierce. I cannot. You ask shut me to up. do something. If you don't shut up, I can't give you the answer. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll shut up for you. I absolutely Pierce. believe that Palestine <laughs> should be free. Yes. Oh, okay. And how are we going to do that, Pierce? Give us the answers, Pierce Morgan. Give us the fucking answers. How are we going to make Palestine free? Yeah, if it was as simple as How are we going to do it? If it was as simple as me just giving a simple answer now, it would have been done by now. It's a very complicated issue. But let me and, ask you again. Why did, you, why, let me ask you yes. again, seriously. Why did you do what you did to Alec Baldwin? <laughs> and what did you hope to achieve? Alec Baldwin through, Look at me. Pierce, honestly! What? Look at my body, look at this! What? Look at me! Pierce, what? I was maimed by a white man! Listen, I understand, I understand you're a performative you're artist. I understand you're, you're trying to make everybody laugh. You've, you've made, you've made your brain. joke about your terrible maiming. So satellite, you're lashing me. Right, okay, I'm not lashing I you. I was beaten, uh, this is the third... This you wanna... is the third white man to beat me this week. Right. Third okay. white man. Yesterday, my white boyfriend beat the shit out of me. This is the third white man. Monday was Alec. The second day was another white man. Third day, Pierce Morgan is beating me up on international TV. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Incredible. <laughs> she deserves every piece of coverage she gets. <laughs> and also... When did Piers Morgan become the best news channel on earth? I don't understand. Yeah. Have you noticed that? What do you mean the best news channel? I don't know, channel? I'm just constantly watching Piers Morgan. If I was the editor, I would have said, maybe Piers, you don't need to interview everyone. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? I don't know what I just watched. I don't understand. You watched a brilliant piece of satire, my friend. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, Dude, she's pro-Israel in real life. <laughs> She wants in on Hollywood for sure. Oh, yeah. And she deserves it. But, bro, she's going to be famous soon. She knows how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> hope that she keeps pushing the... An I don't know where you go from there. <laughs> Flashing your tits at Pierce Morgan. Yeah, you really... And then spanking your ass yelling, three white men beat me this way. <laughs> This is so good because uh, the new stick, he sent me this. He said, I don't know what this is, but it's sufficiently funny. It is. <laughs> good on you. And I looked at that, that's exactly the content we needed. Do we know who the woman is? Uh, no, but people on the chat are saying, Is she single? Is that just Cardi B without makeup? <laughs> That's some GTA shit. Fully. It fully is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was just a segment on Chatterbox, wasn't it? Yeah. Is Fucking this, hell. Is this Dev Chappelle? <laughs> no, she's way funnier than Dev Chappelle. That is the funniest funny. piece of performance I've ever seen, that I reckon. That was very they, funny. upped it so far. <laughs> Alec Baldwin was so pissed. He was so pissed. <laughs> Leave it just like smacks her. I don't get why he's the talisman for like Israel Palestine. Why are they? I don't get why. Because <laughs> he's part of Hollywood. Out, no, but that woman right. was out of her so, mind. I don't think she cared. Yeah. I don't think she is out of her mind. She's no, 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 I think she's totally she, an actor. She's, she's a comedian, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you yeah, reckon it's real? I think that it's a, the, the lines are blurred. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. I think that, like, she's, like, up the ante a bit, but I think that, like, she's not... I don't I, I don't think she's a... I think it's, like, an exaggeration of her personality, you know? I don't think she's just been, like... Mm, wow, well, that would be... She would have to be so utterly insane to... She she, she really didn't do her cause any help. <laughs> <laughs> what is her cause? Oh, the pa free, free Palestine. Palestine. Right. Yeah, dude, like anyone that's yeah. pro Palestine. People, patriarchy. She, yeah. she was making a parody of all of it. Oh, well, she maybe, really maybe she is. Maybe it's a complete parody. Maybe you're right. But I don't know. 
I really don't know. I don't. The only if it was a parody, then she's then she would be. Yeah, I think that was Ben Shapiro in blackface. <laughs> Yeah, like if she if that was a parody, then like she would be pro Israel because she's basically saying like, look how in, this is how insane. No, I'm sure you're right. Like she is pro, but she is not doing service to the cause. She's definitely. I mean, that has not. definitely <laughs> happened Dude, to me. Hamas in the past, looked at that and distanced themselves. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you mean? There's been certain, let's just say, individuals, and by individuals, I mean nut jobs. Yeah. That in the past I've gone after them, and then they've put up clearly clear fake footage of them on TikTok with a bag of frozen <laughs> peas yes, on their yeah. eyes saying, because of friendly Jordy's hate, I've been beaten in the street. He's just got a frozen peas on his I eyes. I remember and that. And then the next clip, he's sitting there with no bruise on his eyes whatsoever saying, see, this is the problem with you, white paper. The next clip, and it was uploaded like three hours later. It was like, damn, the magic of frozen peas. And then, and then he deleted it- the... Was it live? Damn, that was like your own Amber Heard scene. That's what I'm saying. So nuts people like that do exist. And he was not doing performance art. He was the performance baby. Mm, yeah, do you think Pierce Morgan cries himself to bed? She's like, what I has think my he, life I think become? he laughs himself to the bank. Laughs all the way to the bank. You think he's happy? I think he's in between both of you. He's, I've never felt either happy or sad. Kind of just yeah, he's just wildly pissed off. I think he's just one of these people that just really he wants to talk about the royal family. That's his passions. Everything else is like, oh, I have to talk about this, but he just wants to talk. Dude, about let's the royal talk family. about. The uh, can we just talk about the royal family for a second? Well, we need to no, acknowledge this. Poor fucking Harry, bro. You know, oh, a, what are you talking about? I feel bad for the man. Dude, she, he's basically married to that chick that was just on Pierce Morgan. Yeah, I know. Look, look, the chick is insane. The chick is basically just Pierce Morgan, and she's. Ruined her life. You know, he recently lost a case against the British government. Because um, when he would go to England, they wouldn't give him security guards. And they were like, you're not a royal anymore. That's and sick. so he said that Shit. he filed a case against them saying, I need security. And he lost the case. Sucked in. Well, he's now an American citizen. Yeah, Man, is. that guy doesn't deserve a shred of sympathy. He should be flayed in the streets. Dude, my no, flayed, I mean, not not rip off his skin. Throw tomatoes <laughs> at him. When I look at Harry, I just remember what my grandma used to say when I was a kid. Gram- I don't know why she said this to a kid, but she would say, whenever you marry, make sure that there are two types of girls. One girl come with scissors and another girl, a girl comes with sewing machine. You want to marry the sewing machine girl because she will make everything come together. And the other girl will just keep cutting relationships out. Dude, he married a scissor. What a profound piece of knowledge from someone I assume was illiterate. Is no, that profound? she wasn't. But she's, okay, well, whatever. It's still good. She's dead, so still profound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's dead, so yeah, yeah. Oh, and well, uh, rest her soul, and R. thanks R. for the advice on the way out. Her death anniversary was yesterday. She died really? on Anzac Day. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. True Anzac. Uh, no, a a what patriot. A, what a profound death. It's not a bad way to go. No, no, she she, she, she just died of old age. Yeah. Yeah, I know she wasn't in Tobruk, she, Ali. She wasn't <laughs> in the... <laughs> I don't want to imply that my grandma was in World War I, just, just putting it out there. But what it's a good day to on? go because the entire country is sad anyway. Yeah. Well, and on every on her death anniversary every year, everyone has a holiday. It's not bad. There you go. She did it right. And I gotta say, what a wise woman. Yeah, she was definitely the sewing machine and the scissor thing. It's true, dude. <laughs> yeah, but Harry's true. a piece of shit. He really no, he's is. he's he a sucks. gullible piece of shit. Yeah, but that's I think those people are just as bad as the bad people. But dude, like, don't you think like if you're, he's basically Prince Andrew of this generation. Like, imagine your brother is supposed to be the king. What is your purpose in life? Just become pedo. That's all you can do. After yeah, that. it just like that's what Andrew did, and he on Harry on the other hand went for like you the think girl he's, you on think he's suits. Like copped it too hard or something. No, I just think that his wife has ruined his life for him. And also, if you were going to feel sorry for him, the fact that the fact that his autobiography is called. Spare. It's called spare. It's that's a, that, that's a brutal. Hack. That's a. Br- but, that's, but he has no other option. Spare. His only his dude, and that is his role in life. That's all he can ever be. Yeah, he can't do, that's true. His, but that, his yeah. eight, his eight grandfather removed from him was 
none of them ever learned any skill in their life. The only thing that he is he is like useful for is to just dish on family gossip. So that's the only thing that's going to give him money. He has no other option. Does does he have to be couldn't he just be like, I'm going to be a musician and just do that or something? No, because he has no skill in life. He has no skill. He's He'd a still royal. be unbelievably successful as a musician. And on top of that, I can't tell the difference between him and Ed Sheeran anyway. Mm, <laughs> mm. He was good at the army. Was he? Or was well, he just given a bunch of medals because he was a royal? That's true. Maybe it was just that. I don't know. I, I guess I can't decide. Would it? can't decide if it's like a really good Which life. Which is, by the way, whinging. the greatest turnaround in history. He went from, and I'm not making this up, there's videos of him when he was in the army, just like casually bullying like brown servicemen, like just calling them packy and shit. There's, where's the video on that? And, uh, and, and then like he goes from that to just then claiming that his dad is racist because his dad said that, oh, I wonder if the kid's going to be more black or white. So yeah, he, yeah, yeah, right. He is an asshole, isn't he? He is just a crap human being that with the tides says what is fashionable at the time. He's, I might he's sound he's sex. He's a gadabout. That's all he I is. think it's all his wife. I think his wife is just a bad person. Yeah, but he's a bad person. <laughs> They're all he's bad people. There, he's, no, that's not true. I don't think that King Charles is a bad person. I think that he does a lot of good things in the world. He saves a lot of buildings that otherwise would have gone under... He spends a lot of his time thinking about environmentalism, and he's a dude, he's a gardener. Is there such a thing? Bad? No, <laughs> no one that knows what blood and bone is a bad person. That's true. <laughs> yeah, he also has. Uh, he also like cheated on Lady Di. Yeah, but wouldn't you? No, not with Camilla. <laughs> Especially for Camilla. Definitely not with Camilla. Yeah. Definitely not I don't with know. Camilla. Though. I don't know. I really don't know if being a royal would be like the best thing in the world or the worst. Can't I decide. thought that you were always of the opinion that. Look, I'm a big fan of canapes, but not that many. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're saying like it's a good life, but it's too, it's not that good? I think it's this weird, what you're picking on, this weird nether realm of uh. constantly being fed delicious little, I don't think they've ever eaten a full meal in their life. No. It's always just been little things. That's of nice. A bacon rash wrapped yeah. in a piece of cottage cheese. Nice. Yeah. That's their whole life. That's great. I couldn't do it. I know. I hate when they go around with the teeny oh, little. Would you like yeah. another little? Oh, I love. I live for that. So I would love that. You'd love that. Yeah, you dude. Would never get tired of having tapas for the rest dude, of your life. Did you know how much I was eating at Ali's wedding? I just I was, it was. I was homer. It's like they're just like, where do you think you're going? There's like <laughs> ten men around me. I was like, nom, nom, but it wouldn't become a Twilight Zone episode with hey. The cocktail weenies keep coming back. No, it would be Am the- Am I in heaven? No, no, you're in hell. No, it'd be the Simpsons thing. I was like, I don't get it. Ted Carpel was ruined <laughs> in 10 minutes. I'd be going, gub, 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 More. gub. Seriously. So you'd like that part? I'd love that part. Would you like pretending that some little Asian chick playing the bassoon is very good? <laughs> Wait, pretend. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a tip. All right, but, you know, listening to a bunch of- Spoken poets yeah. come in and say, "Well, that's you know very what? Good you know what spoken I, yeah, I think I think the thing that would suck about being a royal is you can't, you know, you wouldn't be able to be like poppycock. You wouldn't be able to swear. You have to be this in the public eye. Like the whole thing that went down with what's her name with the cancer. It's like, why are you hiding her? Where's she at? And she had to come out and be like, I'm dying. I'm very sorry. Like that's brutal. That mm. sucks. The constant public eye thing that would suck. Mm. Mm. Apparently, there are orgies. Sucks. According Fame to Rebel sucks. Wilson. Oh, Rebel Wilson God. in her new, new book oh, is Jesus. claiming that she was invited to a mass orgy by one of the royal sons. Really? I well, we all know which one that is. Which one? It's Andrew. No, I think she means like either Harry or William. Oh, well, we all know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> As if. As if not. You reckon? Uh, what, you reckon? That they, no, I'm saying that she was asked. <laughs> She's been dishing out a lot on, um, on like, uh, have you have you checked out her beef with uh, Sasha Baron Cohen? Oh, I mean, I've heard it, yeah. And didn't they break up because of that? Him and his wife broke up. No, I don't. I doubt it was because of Rebel Wilson. Dude, it was like right after it, and she was like, "We've had a lot of time together, but the innings is over." And I think it was because of that. Still funny, yeah, unintentionally. I mean, he is selling funny. DVDs. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. What's next? You're gonna sell floppy disks? Yeah, Wait, DVDs. Yeah, the arch screensaver. The now only place that DVD mode. players now have is like Blue Mountain. Somehow every Airbnb 
still has DVD players over there. Yeah. That's I miss so them. weird. I miss those old things. Yeah, there was a bit of a romance Yeah. I used to like DVD collections of people. Yeah. When Said you, a lot about them. Yeah. Everyone if had dodgeball. If they dodge didn't have Mamma Mia, do you want to be friends with them? Mm. And what? what everyone had dodgeball. Absolutely. Dodgeball. Why did everyone have... Dodge dodgeball was yeah. a good film. But was it... It was every, f- every house person in, in the Australia. world. Yeah. Dodgeball always. Hey, here's a bit what of trivia that you wouldn't have known. Full Monty. Full Monty's um, always in there. Full, yeah, Full Monty. Shrek. Shrek. Two. Two, maybe. Shrek, two. Shrek. What else did they have? One of the many, many Barbie movies and not the recent one. One of the shitty right. 3D ones. You reckon? For the kids. If they have kids. And also... Oh, Carl Barron. Yeah. He's always oh, yeah, Carl I Barron. wouldn't say that's an always, man. No. Nah. I wouldn't say so. Arj Barker, would you say? More like, more Argy, more Arj. Yeah. But what was the fuck? I just, oh yeah, one of those Liam Neeson movies. There's always one where it's like him going like that and on the side there's like, taken. there's like a fucking, you know, crosshairs on the title of the movie. That was always the, one of those movies, mm, you know? Yep. Or one of the Bourne movies. Yeah, that's always. Always one of the Bourne always, movies. Yeah. Uh Fight for Club. some reason, the DVD yeah. set of The Tudors, despite no one ever watching that show. What's that? Exactly. I don't even know what that is. Dude, right, I, the dude. longest time I was like, is this about Tudors in the 1600s? <laughs> you know, it's really and, funny. And some <laughs> weird, obscure Jack Black movie where he's a romantic lead. Yeah, like Orange Count. Oh, no, no. Like Holiday or whatever, where the he's holiday. supposed to be like with Kate Winslet. Yeah, yeah, right. The Holiday, yeah. Dude, I saw, I found a DVD of Midsummer Murders uh, at a friend's house and I took a photo of it and it's like still the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know, is that strange? It's just so funny. Go on. Well, just like the picture is just so fucking ridiculous. It's like this terrible show. It's an obscure season of this obscure show and it's like who's buying this and who's watching it? Who's putting that in? Who's consciously putting that on? It was just... It was just something so, and the way it'd been tossed aside like rubbish. It was just a real <laughs> metaphor for like how life is so <laughs> inconsequential and things move on so rapidly. It's like this is a fucking artifact, you know. Mm. This has no place anymore in this whatever you are in. Mm. It's just so insane. It's like it's about a show that no one really who, loves unless you're eighty. Who watches Midsummer Murders? Everyone's grandma. Everyone's, but even I think grandmas would be like, yeah. is that the Shakespeare? Exactly. Line? No, it's just a bullshit like BBC Four thing of like, literally the same episode every time. Where it's just like, right, well, this is quite gruesome, isn't it? And then they're like, will Quiet. you come over? Will you come over for tea while we figure it out, Inspector? And it's like, yes. And then every time it's like, what do you, what do you know? It's the person we least expected. Every time, that's it. It's like it was. It was the postman. We didn't even see him at the beginning, did he? Yeah, mm. But it was him. And we didn't introduce him as a character until right now. Yeah, and it's it's, it's just so insane. It's insane. It's insane. Hey, boys, I've got a request. <laughs> it's. I'll show you. I think <laughs> I kept. I, I think I kept kept the image for a long time. And then I was like, ah, it's too weird that I have this, so I deleted it. But it's my biggest regret. Is the front cover a man looking into a magnifying glass? <laughs> no, cover? it's better than that. It's two men. It's the inspector and his sidekick. And the inspector just being like facing one way, just being like, yeah. And his sidekick also just facing the screen, but sort of a different body angle, being like, yeah. And it was like, Midsummer Murder season two. And it's like, like <laughs> I swear to God, if someone- What is that movie about? It's a show. Well, what's that show about? Murders it's a, it's, in England. It's about Midsummer Murders. It's, 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 okay. a, it's, a, it's, it's just a murder, terrible- Murder show in England that probably had a budget of like ten thousand pounds. Really? Surely there was no, there was no. What, what do you need the budget for? Well, there's no, there's nothing there. It's interior shots, outside shots in some town in England. Yeah, actors, probably just you pay the actors. Random people on the street and then going, mm, they did it. Yeah, well, that's basically what it is. But it's just such a. It's th- like to me, it is like. Have you watched it? Yeah, of course. You've never watched it. You're such a king. You're <laughs> such a king. As if you've it's never watched It's just like it. when I learned in Perth that Miss Love has watched heaps, and I mean heaps, of the AFL footy show. Fuck yeah. And wait for it. New South Wales. <laughs> that means that he had to be up watching Channel 9 at about like 1 a.m. on oh, yeah. Tuesday. That's the one. During school. During school. <laughs> he needed to. And, and the grades <laughs> reflected it. Yeah. <laughs> Miss, what do you, uh, Desolate Mirror says British cop shows are definitely better than US ones. British cop shows? What, like 
what is a bri- the bill? Like, what I think is they're bri- saying that Midsummer Murders is better than a lot of the US shows. Like, dude, if you guess Law and Order, or whatever. Listen, if you actually think that, you're fucked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're a fucked person because, like, it is just it's at least Law and Order. Like, I'm not saying it's much better, but it's got some like a little bit of grit- grittiness. Is, this, there's no such thing as murder mystery in America, the, is there? No, it doesn't have that polite. No, it's it's always. You don't see it's you don't nothing happens. There's no violence. There's just chatting. Is that what happens at the end? So they go. So it was you, wasn't it, Mrs. Muppet? And she goes, Oh, well, however did you do? Yes. Is that what? Happens? Yes. And then, That's and then a, shows her going to jail. Or yeah, yeah. No, might say, say, no, my right, so no, my so no. It might. Your nose clean it, it might see her going to jail, and it's just like that's another one, and then it sort of pans out. That's it. And you like this more than no, I, the I, guy putting on sunglasses. Exactly. Like at least the American Did ones you guys go- ever watch Columbo, the show? No. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Columbo? What the fuck's that? Used, we used to have like- <laughs> Oh, you don't know Columbo. When I was a kid, How we used f- to have like VCDs. Fuck? You know, before DVDs, they used to be- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it on the CD. Yeah. What is a VCD? What are you saying? You, you don't remember what VCDs No. Are? No, it's a third world thing. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wait, so you went from cassette straight to DVD? Hell yeah, yeah, dude. None of this VCD shit. What is the only reason I know about between. that is because when you went to Thailand, it was cheaper. And I thought, all right, I'll go buy a pay. It'll still be cheaper than the Wait, DVD. You're bar. saying like you just never... Yeah. But there was like a gap between them. Nah. How did you manage? It wasn't for us. It was the CDs like, and the Oh, DVD. there used to be those massive laser disc ones. No, no, no. Maybe in like really specialty stores, but... From memory, it went videotape and then all of a sudden they started saying, now you can get it all showing DVD. I was like, high definition, being able to go to the scene that you actually want to go to, mm, yeah. I can't see use for that. Dude, VCDs yeah. I remember, yeah, DVDs. were the same as DVDs except that it was shitter print and also you could it couldn't be on like one CD. You had to like, mm, so mm. you would watch like half of it and then you had to put yeah. part two CD in. <laughs> part two of <laughs> Trapdoor. Dude, that is pov as. So I can't pov. believe you guys totally skipped over that. But you know what else was that's pov? So that was like a good four years of our lives. Whoa. I never knew about that. Yeah, that's true. But remember when they brought out Futurama and it was on like four DVDs yeah, that's, a season? Yeah, of Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah, that I would suppose be on so. Four yeah, DVDs. that's so yeah. pov. Now it's yeah, like one one millionth of a percent yeah. on your laptop. But don't you? No, think it's just on the cloud. It's, it's not even the cloud. It's, it's a, yeah. in the cloud. But don't you think that like? Don't you think that having being locked into something there is a beauty to that? Now that we have, we have now we have option paralysis where you just. You're scrolling through movies for 40 minutes before you pick one. You're like, no, it's not the best one ever. I'm not going to, you know, it's like, I'll watch it. I might watch it. But like, at least back then you put it on. That's what you're doing. You're locked in. You're watching it. Mm. Yeah, there was a charm. You know? got by it. Yeah, there was a charm to it. Now now it's just like, now people like watch half and a movie. Like, I'm bored of it. Turn it off halfway. It's like, fuck. And it was an event. And this the other thing. When you used to rent DVDs, oh. everyone had to watch it together because yeah. there's only a limited time. Yeah, and we watched so and you rinsed like- it. You rinsed it, right? People watched it over and over and over, right? Yeah, yeah, people would. But like usually you'd have to return it the next day or in a couple of days. So you didn't have the luxury for everyone to watch it by themselves. And remember when the fine was exactly the same price as renting it out? That's if you didn't so get expensive. at 5 p.m. on yeah. Tuesday, Isn't that another cr- 24 bucks. Is that how much it was? It was so expensive. And then it went up even huh? more if you just, if you kept... Like yeah. not, and then you know, you know, surely you did this where like you, it you went too far. Up. You just kept it. Yeah, you just kept it. That happened. <laughs> I've done. I did that. I was like, I'm keeping this, and yeah, it was like we've all done that. Because at <laughs> some point, dude, if you, if you, you bring it back that? in, I did it at the library. I can't talk. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the library is even worse because it's state funded. Ah, you know. Yeah, because like not at some me. point, if you brought <laughs> if you brought out that really late one, you'd have to take a loan from the IMF. Yeah. There was just no way you could pay, so you just had to keep it. Yeah. So funny, man. And anyway. that point was about two weeks, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because even then, if you forgot about it and then you go, oh, shit, you go back, you'd know that they'd be like, you owe $200. But do you know if you ever mm, did that, gosh. what would happen? If you take back, the, you, they'd say, oh, my God, you owe $200. Yeah. Now give us 20 Really? You reckon? Yeah, they're not going to charge you 200 because right. they don't want to incentivize people to just keep it. But that doesn't incentivize. Then you'd be like, "Sweet, I'll just do this every time." 
Yeah, that was the loophole. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Did maybe I your DVD guy was nice. Yeah, maybe. I Civic Video would just count. I remember, like, I, when I was a kid, I actually wanted to work at a DVD store. I thought that was same. Was that cool. I thought it was a rat. I thought Dude. it was like they were like celebrities. I was like, this is a cool life. Yeah, this is a cool and life. it was. It was. I, I assure you. I have missed Especially Blockbuster. Got 50 cents off the confection. Hell yeah. I miss blocks, Blockbuster. In fact, if, if I could, if I was like rich or whatever, I would like make someone recreate a Blockbuster and I would just walk in there and be like, pretend like I was. <laughs> I think there, there is still one Blockbuster somewhere. I saw one in the fucking. On Tasmania? The, no, it was, it was like near, it was a Burley Heads. No, not Burley Heads. It was near, near Byron. There's a town in Byron. There's a. There's Surely a, it's closed down. Though. No, still. Oh, it's not. But it's not a blockbuster. It's like a Civic video. But it's still working. <laughs> it's just a Civic. And if it's still working, it's still. Really? Yeah, people still do it. They still borrow them. It must be selling other things in there. No, no I think it's just groceries like, or no. No, boomers. I swear to God, it, maybe it's boomers. I swear to God, it was just literally that. It was like popcorn, and dude, I went in there and I looked at them. And I was just like sick, like being like this would look good, and then it's also like, but I'm not. I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to hire him, but like, fuck, yeah. this is sick. Yeah. I think I gave the guy a thumbs up, you know? Nostalgia like, stores. I was thinking, I've got your payment in mind. <laughs> yeah, he's like, please, please have rent a movie. They're like $3 for mm-hmm. two now, please. Oh, <laughs> dude, and the best thing was in the third world, we figured- $3 too much. Yeah. In the third world, we had something <laughs> called piracy. Oh, yeah. So what we would do is- Fuck. At some point, the whole renting DVDs became obsolete. Oh, no. You just bought it for the same price as like- Renting a DVD, mm. which was like I think two dollars. You can but just see, buy it. Like, I still, movie. I still remember my dad went to China and he came back and he was just like ding, 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 and bought all these fucking pirated movies and CDs and like. Wasn't it amazing when someone went to Thailand? <sighs> but did you, did you, and you give him a shopping list. Oh, right? giving it yes, to Joe and yes. Saying, Here it is. It's literally but like you know Christmas. What the worst it was part about Christmas. And then, better than Christmas. But this, then, is, this is <laughs> the worst part about library. Yeah. The worst part about piracy was. Yeah, exactly. That exactly. every time a new movie came out, which is the one that you want to see, yeah, someone had to film it while I they know. were sitting inside. Yeah, I know. So there were people I know. walking. I once watched. There was always some sick Asian man filming it, so you could always hear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I once watched it. I remember once I got one of those, and it was something like The Matrix, and I was so desperate. And it was like at times he would like it would just be like go down and like you know, leave the fucking, like, and he'd be like his leg and it was just terribly, terribly filmed. But I wanted it so badly that I fucking watched the whole thing. And I remember thinking as like a fucking kid, just being like, this is a new low for me. Like, <laughs> dude, you talk about a new low. Pakistan was so bad that they would superimpose ads on it. So while you were watching the movie, what? a cow would come up on your screen that would say, while the movie is playing, Buy cow soap now. <laughs> no, no, you're kidding. You're lying. I'm not. That happened? Yes. Um, how, did, how did they gonna, do it? I'm going to try and figure out. How did they do that, though? What well, they had like their own props. They're just like, moo, moo. Just like, buy, like, visit the candy shop. Get some snacks. I'm just like, <laughs> is that what happened? That's insane. Isn't what? it amazing that there I is such loose regulation in Pakistan that you could be a tax-paying, respectable business with an ABN and you can advertise on pirated <laughs> That's DVDs. amazing, dude. Dude, and I still have like a Foo Fighters CD that's like in Chinese and like <laughs> the tracks, it's a made-up Foo Fighters album. It's just a picture of his guitar, of Dave Grohl's guitar. <laughs> and it's just all these random Foo Fighter songs. And it's like, in your honor, it's like, this isn't an album. Someone's just made a, Imagine being that big that some poor, like, Thai man is, like... Reach off of you. Well, like, photocopying fake album covers that he's made himself. It's not a real album. And, like, putting all these... And, and dude, I prized that thing, like... It's like a prized possession. Why? Because it was f- free, I guess. Like, you know, you're, you're a kid. You're so poor. Dude, CDs <laughs> used to be, like, $25. I remember going up... What are they now? 20 Right, right, right. Like Our the times same. have changed. Like a bit less. And I still buy them. So. Isn't it weird that CDs are still a marketable thing? I still buy them. All right. Someone has to explain the economics behind the fact that in JB Hi-Fi, still three quarters of the store is DVDs and CDs. The, the CDs, I still buy CDs. Okay, <laughs> so you're keeping the entire JB Hi-Fi free I, to float. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's I think it's the only thing that requires space. Yeah, it is. What else at JB Hi-Fi? They've got like a fucking... 
storeroom at the back. Why are they still buying the them? The DVDs, I don't understand. Because as much as I lament the days of DVDs, when I see one now, like I see them on the street, people throwing them out. I'm like, sick, this is a good movie. I'm like, eh, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to put it in. Like, it's, I have it probably on Do one of the easier. Do you have a DVD player? Easier to stream I have it. a PlayStation. They play DVDs, I think. Hey, you're right. I think I have a DVD player too. You then. do. Mm-hmm. There is still charm to putting them on. I would, but like I wouldn't. I, I, they, they, they are obsolete. They're obsolete. They just are completely useless. And also, do you like, remember that p- weird period when all of the shops were going under, and then hipsters bought out the entire collection of video easy and thought, "No, we'll just make it cool." That's what's not attracting people into this clearly dying business. Really? It's the fact that it's like orange and that's a gross color. So let's just paint it red. They did that. Yeah. And then just went under anyway. Yeah. What? Or Vinnie's. Oh, I didn't know that. That's hilarious. Yeah, it happened. Mad business. And then they'd write like a big, long poetic letter at the end saying, I just felt like a really big part of the community when I was here for this six month venture that bankrupted me. Shit. I mean, I like that they kept it going. Did they change it? Huh? Did yeah, they, they changed it. How'd they change it? They just made it look more hip in there. Right. That's it. <laughs> they, they, they seem to have missed the man, the main issue with why it's not functioning, which is the product they're selling. Especially because you used to go in there and say you wanted to get a film like, I don't know, Bring It On or something. Bring It On fully. And then the hipster chick at the front would give you accusing stares and say, and, and you'd be like, you, you don't think it's a good film? It's like, yeah, if you're like trash, it's good. All right. Say stuff like yeah. that. And, not and then you're too you. scared to go back because you weren't a film snob. I miss that era. I didn't know about that. That's very funny. But... <sighs> Dude, did you guys have to buy... Did you, could you rent porn? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you? Of course. I didn't know that. I could, you never I, stumbled into stumbled into the adult section. Yeah, but it wasn't porn. It was always like movies with like naked chicks. It wasn't porn. It was porn. Was it? It was under the title of erotica. Oh, that's right. That's right. What is the difference between No, 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 no. You're right. It was like erotica. And you, would, as a kid, you'd always walk past the island and be like, oh no, I'm lost. And have a little pee. <laughs> pee. <laughs> At least you had a separate <laughs> section. Gross out of curiosity. Yeah. Then out of We had to like go <laughs> up to the guy and just be like, <laughs> what is that, by the way? <laughs> That is the sound of Pakistanis doing something dodgy. What the fuck? Isn't it? They what the that. fuck? They do that. Are you serious? Yeah. And so yeah. then he'd look at you and he's like, yeah. What the fuck? Like, and you have to go, I want that one. Like, which one? And he'd go, <laughs> one second. <laughs> you did that? And then he would put this curtain that was just like next to his stall and he would pull out a pile of DVDs and he would just put them behind the curtain. He's like, come have a look. And then you had to look at it, whatever, like Naughty America, whatever it might be. No, you hired you one, porn. You rented it was porn. 50 rupees more than standard movies. How much is 50 rupees again? A dollar. At the time, it would have been like, yeah, a dollar. A buck. Like a dollar, yeah. You rented Man, porn. Let me get the third world rocks. You uh, rented porn. Yeah, and I was a child. Yeah, it's like I a 14 care. year old. No, it's so yeah, much more scary 14, than the. Man, looking at it and getting caught, some nerd would come up to you and say, that's it. Give me your membership card. It's laminated. Yeah. You went this round. Yeah. You do it again. I only peered. You didn't hire porn. No, I never hired porn, but I, I, I remember peering yeah, at the erotica section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a teenager saying, I'm sorry, are you yeah, Oh, yeah. Saying, no. Then I'd appreciate it if you left the erotica section. You, you weren't discreet enough, my friend. You you were good at the sly movie. I, 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 I would I'm want. I'm really into. Sport history. No, dude. No, no. There's no explanations. No one saw anything. I, I would wander in and be like, all right, I've got a five to 10 second zone here. And I'll just do, do just be like, have a little lit, no touching and then just leave. That, that's all I did. All right. That's impressive. Yeah. I still think that the counter guy knew. He, <laughs> maybe he did. Just cuts to me. Just, just cuts 14. to me like, yeah, yeah, staring yeah, with like two fucking things for like 10 minutes, probably. Yeah, doing this to the crowd color. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was quick and unassuming, yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Fuck that. I used to, we used to hide, dude, I'll, I will never in my life reach the levels of joy that I did when my mom let me hire a Nintendo 64. It was probably mm. like 200 bucks to fucking yeah. rent it for two days. Yeah. Ugh. Man, yeah, I don't remember. I remember the first time I got a PlayStation Two. It was the happiest day of my life. Mm-hmm. PlayStation Two was exactly the right one to be 
the most happy. About 64 it. was my because it was holy definitely grail. a game changer. Yeah, dude. Exactly. PlayStation Two was a because PlayStation no pun One intended. was great. <laughs> one was sick. I never had one though. My neighbor did. I loved one as well. I loved oh, those yeah, old no, games. no, no. But it's just the thought, the the advertising. Nothing. He's right. Worked more effectively mm. than Sony coming out and saying, "If you love PlayStation, get ready for a whole new venture." Of let's be honest, it's pretty much the same graphics. Mm. But it wasn't the, the hype. No, it wasn't. The, it wasn't the same. Really, they were way better. They were way, way better. better. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm dissing on the PlayStation Two. I shouldn't be, but they were way better. Yeah. PlayStation no, Two. I think was the first modern console. Huh? I think PlayStation Two would still fall into the modern gaming console family. Oh, come on. You're not going to give PlayStation 1 its dues? No, nah, but he's or right. PlayStation 3? PlayStation 2 just was a step above. Yeah, PlayStation 1 wasn't... I oh, don't no, actually... No way. Maybe Jordan... I think Jordan might not be that far off because PS1 did have 3D games. Yeah, it No did. way. I'm thinking of Super <laughs> Nintendo. Really. You know, you're... No, 1 and 2, they weren't... Fucking Beast Wars, man. That was the shit. <laughs> I loved On that. PlayStation? 1. Wow. It was the best game ever. You know Beast Wars? No yeah. way, wait. Bloody Raw, it was called, not Beast Wars. Did Bloody you guys have Raw. Dreamcast? Yeah. Yeah, but no one had No it. one had it. And GameCube? Yeah, GameCube. No Dude, one had GameCube. One of my mates did, and I was like, it's going to be a, sh- a winner. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> all it had was Sonic. It was just some different versions of so It was like, GameCube brought to you by Sonic. It's like, can we play anything other than Sonic? It's like, not on this console. It's like, well, what the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> Hope you like Sonic heaps, which you granted. You remember like the era where you had to put a, a cassette into like this game? Yeah, like an 64. That was 64. Was that Sega? And the, yeah, but I never had the Sega. Yeah, thing. what was the Sega called? Sega. No, Sega Saturn and Sega. Yeah, I never played it. I had the Sega. I don't know why. I think it was because my dad might have been a weed dealer when I was really young. I'm not sure, but we had one. You're sure? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not. This is. A, he claims that he stopped dealing when I was a kid. Uh, but I was yeah. always going in there and being like, "Wow, well, there's a lot of." Adult toys in here, and then a guy with red eyes being like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. So, yeah. Book club. Um, you had the Sega, that's funny. Yes. That's very single dad. Very, and you could dad. also like yeah. buy that gun thing in Sega and you could shoot the birds, y- yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dude, like time crisis, how yeah. you're playing with power. Have you seen that ad? <sighs> Hell yeah, it's the greatest thing that Miss Love has ever sent me. <laughs> I sent you that, Sick. get it up, show everyone that. I don't know where you'll you, find it, what? YouTube it. What's, what am I YouTube? Oh, it's a, system. yeah, you gotta find it. It's like, it's the funniest ad you'll ever see in your life. Yeah. What's it called? It was the Super Nintendo, wasn't it? I think it was Super Nintendo, yeah. yeah try, try, it's Super really... Nintendo ad, Rob the Robot, maybe. <laughs> what the fuck have you been watching? Yeah, um, watches. Uh, Super Nintendo ad. ad. It's Ad, just, it's, and then maybe if it doesn't come up, rob the robot. I think that's the first one. No, I don't think that's it's it. It's not? No. No, that's not it. Yeah, it's really sad. Like, I, d- I know all these new games are amazing, but it's like, I just don't... There it is. Care. Second. That one. Right there. Feast your eyes on the greatest ad ever made. This should have won fucking Ken's line. No, it's the second one, Ali. You put on the wrong one. No, no, no. I'm putting it on this one. Well, as long as we don't get to see... Just something wait, else. so you're saying this one? Yeah, that's it. What's it like yes. to play the Nintendo Entertainment System? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the birds, the birds. I love them. <laughs> Nintendo Entertainment System. Now you're playing with power. <laughs> so good. It's so epic. It's, humanity peaked Ugh. at that period. Absolutely. <laughs> the town. Absolutely. And you know what else as well? I don't think that ad is an exaggeration at all. <laughs> That is how it felt playing yeah, Super Nintendo it, it, when you're a fucking ten year old. It felt pretty. It's high so tech, funny yeah. that like he's suggesting that a game that's two D when Mario goes like boink boink, boink is is the equivalent of your house <laughs> blasting <laughs> into space. <laughs> God forbid that guy ever played like Metal Gear Solid Four. He'd be like unbelievable, <laughs> and then he's just like this game's like playing just shows Earth go <laughs> like taking off, just like. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> Such a more innocent time. I, lo- I just, 
I hate our ads now. You know what I hate about ads now? You know what ads are now? Every single, as at least Australian ads, every ad now is just being like these like trendy, like TikTok esque, you know, people that do animations like, oh, I drew a chip on a seagull and I'm making it talk. Like, oh, good day, I'm Terry the seagull. They just put that on, just being like, HGF is fun and like ironic. <laughs> Get health cover. Oh, mm. yeah, seaweed, seaweed. You know what? Shut no. the fuck up. I know. I hate this shit. Yeah. Everything is like, it's cool and trendy and ironic. It's like, no, it's none of those things. It's none of those things. And just, this wasn't cool and trendy and ironic in 2008. And yeah. you're still trying to pull that shit back then. I really like. Yeah, but you know what's worse were... than those ads? Those like hipster ads, like Koala Mattress. Yeah, what is it? I'm a big Maori man, mm. but I'm a lovable guy, and I'm gonna jump on this. It's mattress. either it's either it's like all the same it's all the same. Agency. Yeah, it's all the same. It's, it's either all... like it's just different categories of like them usurping like lame ideas from TikTok or whatever, and it's just I don't know. I don't even think they're usurping ideas from TikTok. If they did, I honestly think that they would be at least fresh. Right. Yeah, Not they're old. That. Yeah, they're No, look, Always. the animations one is like a specific page that is recent, but it's just this annoying like uh it's just annoying. It's like we we it's like we get you. We're cool. We're cool like you. Yeah, like you know, healthcare is lame, but we get it. We get it. But you should definitely get it cuz it's like it's cool. It's like no, dude. No, no dude. stop. And, and you advertising execs aren't cool either. No. The Hawaiian shirt <laughs> and the fucking, you know, I'm a hipster that opened up an unsuccessful rum business. <laughs> Beard. Like that's yeah. not helping. No, it's not. Everything is that now. You're, you're lame as shit. And you were lame as shit when you were 20. Let yeah. alone now that you're 50. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't like it. That is an ad. Just <laughs> It's ridiculous. How did you remember that ad? Feels like this. <laughs> so good. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. And you know why? <laughs> That's how all ads should go. It's exactly what they do in Japan. They make the ads they still do overly it. epic. Exactly. You know, when you're selling soap. Yeah. Make you know, it. like some like little man goes like, oh, yes. and grows out of the soap. And yes. Just, like does all of the washing for like the entire country. Totally. The news being like, super, super. That, that's, that's, that is that's, what you that Have you guys seen your that eye. Chinese ad for the washing machine? No. What is it? It's just like some lady. It's like some black dude who walks into the house. And the Chinese lady go, oh, oh, oh. And she puts him into the washing machine <sighs> and she puts it on. And then he comes out as like this handsome oh Asian. And he's God. like, ah, washing machine. Cleans everything off. <laughs> Racism goes in China. So 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 oh, no, wait, is that Japan or China? This was China. Yeah, yeah, China yeah, yeah. saved shit. Yeah. Shame fucking country. <laughs> uh, Man, good times. But like, honestly, I really don't understand if... Hipsters are trying to be cool and ironic. You it's playing companies. that? It's companies. Oh, sorry, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. You playing that? We get it. We're down. We get it. Yeah. It's, it's first off. It's what what we want is for you to oversell the product so much. Yes. That it hits irony. Yes, that's exactly. true irony. That's true. That's true <laughs> that's irony. Too much. Those Japanese ads are too much. No. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're so. They good. kind of remind me of the Australian ads, like. God freeze, fifty percent up, fifty percent up. But see, there at least, but that's, that's, that's a real ad. Great that's a real ad. It's been like God freeze, doors, doors, doors. Get the fuck it. At least it's like honest. That's what should be it's on not TV. Honest. Just, it's it just, is. It's been on sale for the last decade, guys. Okay, you know. okay. The details might be a little fudged, but the 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 the, the sort of like. Message Talking about the ambience. The here. message it's giving out is like, buy our fucking doors. Come on, can't buy them. Fucking doors. It's That's like, all. Lows, lows, should be lows. just three minutes in between home and away. Of, ah, yeah, and then back to mm, cheating on me. That's like it. yeah, like how good's hello? Set of tiles here, front of tiles. It's like now, the, speaking of someone who's dishonest. That man could not have been having a stroke for the last twenty years. <laughs> You know what I'm talking if about? You sound like that. Have you guys yeah. seen that Lowe's ad where like- the Yeah, got, for big men too. For big men. And then it's like the same big men, but just gets bigger <laughs> all the way up to 14 XL. Dude, <laughs> I, had, I had one of those- The bush grew fat. <laughs> yeah, I had one. The I, same I, guy just getting like, the image gets bigger. So the implication <laughs> is he's fatter. It's so good. It's awesome. I love those. I love those ads, man. Anyways, boys, we're out of time. We've got to record the up late as well. All right. Sick. And you can get it if you sign up in Patreon. You know, you know. Get please, it. Please. It's good to be sign back. Up. Sign that shit up. You will appreciate it because it's good. Sign up to Patreon. Can I see what they're saying? And uh, pay my rent, <laughs> please. Yeah, pay all our rent. Well, you don't need it. You're in the West. <laughs>